Hello, my name is Kelly Curran. I'm calling in from Silver Spring, Maryland, which is just outside of Washington, D.C. I am not a, an environmental expert nor a conservation activist. I work in global health, specifically for an organization called JPIGO, which is affiliated with Johns Hopkins University. Um, and I'm really honored to be here today to answer a question or respond to a question that was posed to me about why the experience and the wisdom of indigenous people is not sufficiently taken into account. Um, and I think this, this question caused me to reflect that we have similar problems in, in public health and in medicine of not listening to our patients and not listening adequately to the perspectives um, and the wisdom of the communities that we serve with public health programs. And that's particularly true of indigenous and other uh, vulnerable or marginalized communities. And I think in health and medicine, the root cause of this disconnect is really that we are trained to prioritize scientific evidence above all else. Uh, we believe in the results of randomized controlled clinical trials. We believe things when they are published in uh, peer-reviewed journals. Um, and I was trained this way, and I believe in this worldview and this perspective. And I think this is how we come up with safe and effective um, public health practices and safe and effective medications and drugs. Um, but uh, I'd like to give an example of where I think uh, the scientific efforts uh, listened to the wisdom of traditional people, and that is in malaria. And the current first-line medication to treat malaria, which is endorsed by the World Health Organization and the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, it comes from a tree called the wormwood tree, which is in China. And for many years, practitioners of traditional Chinese medicine made a tea from the bark of this tree and gave it to patients of theirs who were suffering from malaria or other fevers. Um, and this was observed by scientists who were able to um, identify the active ingredient in this tree, um, you know, take it into a lab, um, synthesize a medication from it, um, which was then, of course, subjected to randomized controlled clinical trials, phase one, two, and three, um, which proved that it was indeed safe and effective for treating malaria. And as I said now, this medication synthesized from the tree uh, is the first line treatment for malaria in, in much of the world and endorsed by all the most prestigious um, health bodies in the world. And so I, I take hope from this example that we are learning how to listen to the wisdom of indigenous people. Um, and I hope that this only continues. Um, thank you so much for the opportunity to respond to this essential question. And I wish you all the best with your conference.